mediators. Now, all that stuff about view is really to help this guy. The mediator is your gateway to the framework. The view really has nothing to do with the robot legs other than dispatching these two weird events and having this variable called class type for like lack of class introspection. Right? That's what mediators are for, is to listen for all that stuff. The mediator is, not really kind of, the mediator pattern. The mediator pattern is created to allow two views to talk to each other without having knowledge of each other. Say, hey, I want to say something to him. Dispatch an event. Huh? Oh, you like him? Okay, cool. Talk to him. All right, cool. Thanks. Talks back, right? The mediator is the, the one who talks, right? So, for example, mi es gramatica es muy pequeño, right? My, my español, my knowledge of Spanish is very small. I don't know a lot of grammar. So I would use a mediator, someone who knows English and Spanish, to talk to someone who is speaking only in Spanish, and vice versa. They would use that mediator to talk to me, right? That pattern is usually what is refined to as the mediator pattern. The mediator's robot legs usually are the way for the view to talk to the framework and to get his model and get his data and to make his changes of you know clicking on buttons known. Okay, so that's why it's kind of not really the mediator rather. But we call it the mediator anyway. It keeps the view out of the framework. This is a complete reversal of what the presentation model is. The presentation model, the view can instantiate that guy sometimes, put himself in there and call methods on it, right? So this is different. The view is say, hey, I'm created, somebody mapped me, hey, I'm destroyed, somebody unmapped me, right? Robot Legs handles mapping the meter to that view and unmapping when the view is destroyed, okay? One view per mediator. You don't have multiple views per mediator. You have a mediator that represents a particular view, okay? You have multiple, you can have one model and 50 billion views. The point is you have one meter per view, okay? If your view gets too big and the meter gets too big, you're more than welcome to break your view out into little views and give them little mediators. That's fine too. But I encourage you to start small and grow, not the other way around. It's really hard to refactor lots of code back to one thing, okay? Keeps the framework out. Not all views need mediators. Some views, you can inject a model and call it a day if you're in a hurry. Some views are just components, like a button. Does a button really need a mediator? I've seen projects where they force you to do that. Gives view models reference, okay? So the view needs a model. Where does it get that reference from? The mediator gives it to it. It doesn't reference it on global. It could. If you're a presenter fan, it gets it a VO rather than a model or some kind of a table that has enough data on it that it can display it and interact with it, okay? It listens to user events from the view. So when somebody clicks on it, taps it, swipe it, the mediator is, as soon as it's created, it goes, okay, view, when these events happen, let me know. And then when it leaves, it unsubscribes from those events and goes, cool, peace out, right? That's the mediator's job, those two things. The requirements for a mediator are as follows, two things. Number one, you have to define an unregister method. The unregister method is called when the view is created and it has a reference for you. Number two, when the view is removed and destroyed, you have an opportunity to remove your event listeners if you'd like and clean up your references and do other cleanups or things that are gone or let the user know they didn't save a form value or whatever, right? You can't really stop this yet. I haven't figured that out. Finally, it has a, a, an instance to the view via self that view instance. You could listen to the event from that, but the point is that you need to get the view somehow. So I inject that value into you via view.instance. It's, it's a valid value when on register is called and when on remove is called. It's only nulled or nilled after on remove is finished, okay?